Hi everyone, welcome to Tips from Stella. Is that product you are using on your body a threat to your health? Well, we shall figure that out in this video. We are going to look at the dangerous chemicals that are used in most commercial skincare products. So if you can, please grab a piece of pen and paper and try to note them down as we move along together in the video so that you can check if the products you are using contain any of these. Because of chemicals like these, I make sure to buy organic products or create my own most of the time. And they include number one one comma four dioxin this is a carcinogen that you will not find on products labels because it is a contaminant formed when common ingredients react to form the compound in a process known as ethosylation common ingredients like sodium laureth sulfate peg compounds these are chemicals that include the clauses xenol cetyreth and oleth it is related to organ toxicity and can be found in products like shampoos, hair relaxers, bubble bath, and liquid soaps. The ingredient was banned in Canada and is especially unsafe for pregnant women, infants, and teenagers. Number two, acrylates. These are derived from acrylic acid and they are commonly found in cosmetic nail preparations. These include acrylic nails and nail polishes. They include ethyl methacrylate, ethyl acrylate, and methyl methacrylate. We are mainly exposed to these chemicals through inhalation or skin contact. Despite evidence of adverse skin, eye, and throat reactions to these chemicals, they continue to be used in nail products. Because exposure is mainly inhalation and skin contact, you must look out for poorly ventilated saloons. The Center for Disease Control CDC warns that acrylates can block air passages, leading to breathing problems. Acrylates are labeled differently on products with names like ethyl propanoate, ethyl acrylate, acrylic acid, methacrylate monomer, ethyl 2 methyl 2 propanoate, methyl 2 methyl 2 propanoate, EA, EMA, and MMA. Number three is benzophenone and related compounds. These are linked to cancer, endocrine disruption, and organic system toxicity, and are used in products for UV light prevention. It is found in products like sunscreen, nail polish, foundations, lip balms, fragrances, hair conditioners, hair sprays, hair moisturizers, shampoos, among others. Look out for ingredients that contain the word benzophenone. Number four are butylated compounds. These include butylated hydroxy anisole, BHA, and butylated hydroxytoline, BHT, and are used as preservatives in many skin care products. In large concentrations, they are used in skin bleaching products. They are likely carcinogens linked to organ system toxicity and endocrine disruption. They can be found in makeup, hair products, lip care products, antiperspirants, body creams, among others. Use of BHA and BHT was banned in Europe. Number five is carbon black. This is a dark black powder produced by incomplete combustion of carbon-based products like coal tar. It is used as a pigment in cosmetics like mascara, eyeliner, eyeshadow, blush, nail polish, lipstick, among others. It is considered carcinogenic and can affect the organs. Look out on labels for carbon black, DNC black number two, acetylene black, channel black, furnace black, lamp black, and thermo black. Number six is colta. This is a brown black thick liquid formed by incomplete combustion of coal. It is a known carcinogen by the National Toxicology Program and the International Agency for Research on Cancer. It is found in hair dyes, lotions, soaps, scalp treatments, and shampoos. Names to look out for on labels include Colta Solution, Tar, Coal, Carbocort, Colta Solution USP, Crude Colta, Estar, Impavota, KC261, Lavarta, Pieces, Carbonis, Naphthur, 
high solvent naphthur, naphthur distillate, benzene B70, and petroleum benzene. Number seven are ethanolamine compounds. These are a chemical group made of amino acids and alcohol. They are used in a number of cosmetics and personal care products like shampoos, hair conditioners, dyes, soaps, lotions, shaving creams, paraffin in waxes, household cleaning products, pharmaceutical ointments, eyeliners, mascara, eyeshadows, blush, makeup bases, foundations, fragrances and sunscreens. They are linked to liver tumors and have been banned in Europe. Look out for the following names on labels. Triethanol amine or TEA, diethanol amine or DEA, cocamide DEA, cocamide MEA, DEA cetyl phosphate, DEA oleth 3 phosphate, lauramide DEA, linoleamide MEA, Meristamide DEA, Olenamide DEA, Stearamide MEA, and TEA Lauryl Sulfate. Number eight is formaldehyde releasing preservative. These are used in many personal care products to prevent growth of microbes. Formaldehyde is a known cancer causing agent that harms the brain, interferes with growth and development in children, and induces asthma. These preservatives slowly release formaldehyde to keep the skincare products from spoiling. These often trigger allergic reactions to the skin. They have been banned for use in Japan in Sweden. If you've ever experienced a contact allergy after using a skin lotion, it probably had one of these ingredients, formaldehyde, quaternium 15, DMDM hyadantoin, imidazolidanyl urea, diazolidanyl urea, polyoxymethylene urea, sodium hydroxymethyl glycinate, 2 bromo 2 nitropropen 1,3-diol, which is also known as bromopol, and glyoxal. Number 9 is fragrance. You have probably seen this term on your personal care products and it indicates a mixture of ingredients that cosmetic companies don't have to legally tell you about. 3,000 or more chemicals may be used to create a fragrance. Some unscented products contain fragrances with masking agents. Fragrances have been linked to allergic reactions, asthma and breathing difficulties, while others have links to cancers. It is found in sunscreen, shampoo, soap, body wash, deodorant, body lotion, makeup, facial cream, skin toner, serums, exfoliating scrubs, and perfumes. Look out for labels like fragrance, perfume, perfume, and aroma on labels. Number 10 are heavy metals including mercury, lead, arsenic, aluminium, zinc and chromium which are used in a number of skincare products including lip products like lipstick, whitening toothpaste, eyeliner, nail color, foundation, sunscreen, eyeshadows, blush, concealer, moisturizers among others. Metals like iron are important for the proper functioning of the body, but when they accumulate in high amounts in the body, they are linked to reproductive, immune, and nervous system toxicity. Look out for lead acetate, chromium, thimerosal, hydrogenated cottonseed oil, and sodium hexametaphosphate. Most products will not include them in the ingredients. Number 11, homosalate. This is an organic compound that belongs to salicylates, a class of chemicals. It is widely used in sunscreens with SPF for UVB protection. It is mainly found in sunscreen and other personal care products with sun protection. It causes endocrine disruption and hence affects hormone function, especially estrogen. It is linked to cancer, especially breast cancer. Look out for the following on labels, homosalates, homomethyl salicylates, HMS, HS, and 335-trimethylcyclohexyl salicylate. Number 12 is hydroquinone, one of the most dangerous chemicals used in skin lighteners, marketed mostly to women of color. It can cause cancer, organ system toxicity, and respiratory tract irritations. It is allowed in the United States for use up to a concentration of 2%. 
but banned in the European Union and restricted in Canada. It is used in skin lightening products, cleansers, facial moisturizers, hair conditioners, and hair care products. Look out for hydroquinone or tocopheryl acetate on labels. Number 13 is methyl isothiazolinone, MIT, and methyl chloroisothiazolinone, CMIT. These are commonly used preservatives in liquid personal care products. They have been linked to allergic reactions, lung toxicity, and neurotoxicity. They are found in shampoos, conditioners, hair colors, body wash, lotions, sunscreens, mascara, shaving cream, baby lotions, hairspray, makeup removers, liquid soaps, and detergents. Look out on labels for methyl isothiazolinone MIT, 2 methyl 4 isothiazolinone 3 1, Neolone 950 preservative MI, Orista MIT, and Microcare MT, methyl chloroisothiazolinone CMIT, 5 chloro 2 methyl isothiazolinone 3 1, and MCI. Number 14 is Mika. This is a naturally occurring mineral dust mostly used in makeup foundations and is linked to pneumoconiosis, the same dust used in cement and asphalt. Look out for Mika and Muscovide on labels. Number 15 is Octinozet, also known as Octyl Methocyanate or MC. It is a UV filter used widely in sunscreens. It is absorbed rapidly by the skin and can be detected in breast milk, blood, and urine. It is an endocrine disruptor that mimics estrogen and can disrupt thyroid function. Also found in hair color products in shampoos, lipstick, nail polish, and skin creams. Look out on the labels for oxynozet or methocycinamate or MC. Parcel, Parcel MCX, Parcel MOX, Escalol, and 2-ethylhexyl-P-methocyanamate. Number 16 is PABA and its derivatives. It's used as a UVB filter in sunscreens. PABA is linked to thyroid dysfunction. It has been used since the 1970s, but to date, its use has been declined as studies show that it causes DNA damage, allergic dermatitis, and it also stains clothes. Look out on labels for PABA, ODPABA, Padimet, or for aminobenzoic acid, paraaminobenzoic acid, P-aminobenzoic acid, ETPABA, 2 ethyl hexyl ester and p carboxy aniline number 17 are parabens these are preservatives used in many products to prevent growth of microbes you have probably seen a number of products marketing themselves as paraben free these chemicals mimic estrogen and lead to hormone imbalance infertility slowed growth and developmental disorders in children it is found in shampoos, conditioners, lotions, facial and body cleansers, and scrubs. Look out for any ingredients ending with paraben. Number 18 is petrolatum. This is a byproduct of petroleum refining. Petrolatum is one of the most commonly used ingredients for skin moisturizers. It has no known health concerns unless it is not fully refined. When this is the case, it will contain polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, which are known cancer-causing chemicals, especially breast cancer. The bad news is that there is no way to confirm that it was properly refined unless with clear refining reports. In the EU, it is mandatory to produce these reports before petrolatum is put out to consumers. However, in the US, not. Look out for petrolatum, petroleum jelly, paraffin oil, and mineral oil on labels. Number 19 is phenoxyethanol, used as a preservative in personal care products and to stabilize perfumes. It is found in cosmetics including moisturizers, eyeshadow, foundation, sunscreen, conditioners, mascaras, eyeliners, shampoos, lip gloss, concealers, body wash, hand cream, blush, hair color, hairspray, lip balm, lotion, nail polish, baby wipes, baby lotions, and soaps. 
liquid and bar soaps, shaving cream, deodorant, toothpaste, fragrance, hair removal waxes, hand sanitizers, and ultrasound gels. Look out for phenoxyethanol, 2-phenoxyethanol, Euxil K400, which is a mixture of phenoxyethanol, and 1-2-dibromo, 2-4-disanobutane, and PHE on labels. Number 20 is polyacrylamides, used as a binder and stabilizer in a number of cosmetics like facial moisturizers, anti-aging products, color cosmetics, lotions, hair products, sunscreens, and more. It has been linked to causing mammary tumors. Look out for polyacrylamide, acrylamide, polyacrylate, polyquaternium, and acrylate on neighbors. Number 21 is polytetrafluoroethylene, also known as PTFE or Teflon. This is associated with cancer and later breast development. It is used in foundations, pressed powder, loose powder, bronzer, blush, eyeshadow, mascara, shave gel, lip balm, and anti-aging lotions. Check labels for polyetrafluoroethylene, PTFE, polypafluoromethylisopropyl ether, DESC818, parfluoroalkyl ethyl phosphate, and teflon. Number 22 is pifenylene diamine which is found in dyes and can alter DNA. Look out for P-phenylene diamine, paraphenyl diamine, 4-amino aniline, 1,4-benzene diamine, P-diaminobenzene, 1,4-diaminobenzene, and 1,4-phenylene diamine on labels. Number 23 is phthalates, used in color cosmetics, fragrance lotions, body washes, and hair care products nail polish and treatments banned in the eu as they have been linked to endocrine disruption developmental and reproductive toxicity and cancer but still used in the u.s check label for phthalates dep dpb dehp and fragrance number 24 is quaternium 15 this causes toxicity and allergies in the skin and is found in hair conditioners hair styling products creams lotions cleansers shaving products, eye drops, contact solutions, and household cleansing products. Check labels for benzalkonium chloride, benzothonium chloride, quaternium 15, hydroxypropyl trimonium chloride, centrimonium bromide, and polyquaternium 7. Number 25 is resocinol. It is toxic to the thyroid gland and reproductive system in high doses mainly used in hair dyes, pills, and in products used to treat acne, eczema, and psoriasis. Check label for resorcinol, 1,3-benzene-diol, resorcin, 1,3-dihydrobenzene, also known as M-hydroxybenzene or M-dihydroxyphenol. Number 26 is retinol compounds. Retinol is the chemical name of vitamin A, which should be safe However, it can be harmful when used in other forms and in high doses. These include retinoic acid and retinyl palmitate. It is linked to reproductive and developmental toxicity as well as cancer. Check label for retinol, vitamin A, retinyl acetate, retinyl palmitate, all trans retinoic acid, and retinoin. It is used in anti-aging creams, lotions, moisturizers, and foundations. 27 is talc. It is restricted in the European Union as it may contain carcinogenic asbestos. It is used in baby powder, body and shower products, lotions, feminine hygiene products, eyeshadow, foundation, lipstick, deodorant, and face masks. Check label for talcum powder or cosmetic talc. 28 is titanium dioxide, a fine white powder that occurs naturally that is used in sunscreens and powders, both loose and pressed. It is considered of health concern when it is inhalable and not by contact. It is however said to be one of the safest ingredients for use in sunscreens. So it is important to avoid loose powders that contain titanium dioxide. Check label for titanium dioxide or TI02. 
Number 29 is toluene. It is a known toxic chemical linked to respiratory and reproductive complications. It is used in hair dyes and nail products. Check labels for toluene. Number 30 and lastly is triclosan. It is an antibacterial agent used in antibacterial soaps and detergents, toothpaste and tooth whitening products, antiperspirants or deodorants, shaving products, creams and color cosmetics. It is linked to endocrine disruption and bacterial resistance. Check label for triclosan or TSC which is restricted in Japan and Canada and triclocarban or TCC which is restricted in the European Union. Well, that is just about it for today. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button or leave me a comment and share this video with your friends on social media. Let's also connect on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and Pinterest because I do share lots of tips there too. Subscribe for more if you have not yet and hit the bell button for notifications. See you in the next video and do not forget to love yourself.